gonna double chin here. Oh, there it is. Hey guys, it's Wingy. Welcome back. And right now, hug. For this week, I have some super amazing transformation for you guys. I'm gonna be transforming plastic bottles you drink from every single day. Show you how to make amazing, wonderful organizers and other amazing things you can use. And they literally look store bought, some of them. But I really can't wait to show you guys. You guys are gonna love these DIYs and hats. Hold up, if you guys aren't part of the fam yet, too, already, I encourage you guys to join. Just click the subscribe button. If you guys are new to the fam, welcome. If you guys are part of the fam already, you guys know this week we're announcing the winners of the MacBook Air giveaway. So congratulations. Drum roll, everyone. Bam. You're gonna get your MacBook Air super soon. And if you guys want another giveaway and you missed out, don't forget to do this week's like challenge. Let's get 150,000 thumbs up. You can do that. We're gonna run another giveaway next week. Hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate every single thumbs up you guys give me. Thank you so much. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go. packaging is so easy to do just take any empty bottle use an exacto knife to make a cut near the top of the bottle and then cut around the rest using some scissors trim up any sharp edges and you're done so the next time you're finished snacking just use this hack to keep your food from going stale and possibly protect it from hungry unicorns Water. Sure, help yourself. What do you wish? Hello! Same old town. I wonder if it fades away. Did you know you can save a fair bit of money by making your own water filter system? All you need is a 1.25 liter bottle and a filter. Cut the bottle about two thirds from the bottom first and then cut off the cap from the top piece and you'll be left with a round gap which you need to slowly enlarge with scissors until you can fit the bottom of the filter in perfectly. Once you're happy with the fit, hot glue the filter to the bottle so that it's water tight. Next, mark out a spot near the top of the lower bottle and cut a small circle out. Next, hot glue the edge of the bottle cap and stick it over the hole and make sure it's watertight as well. And that's it. It should look something like this. Just add in water at the top and you'll slowly see the water filter through into the bottom section. Just pour it into the glass like this and drink your hard-earned filtered water. into a bottle. I use some screws for this and basically just poke a whole bunch of them so that they are facing a single direction. Then place your hose end into the bottle and use duct tape to seal any gaps. Turn on the tap and ta-da! It might not be 
super flashy, but it works and it's free as long as you have a bottle. your bathroom wall with either blue tack or strong double-sided tape, leaving a small gap for your toothbrushes to fit in. That way, the bottom of your brushes don't sit in some grimy cup, and you're welcome. You know that I need your loving tonight. You know that I need your loving tonight. Brother, sister, can you hear that? Our heartbeat cut into the ear. Star drifters, can you feel that? One love can make us all believers. A generation of renegades, we don't have to stay alone. To make this super cute container, all you need is two bottles, a plastic cup, and a hand saw. First, roughly saw off each bottle top just under the cap. It's okay if this part is a little bit uneven because we're going to take some sandpaper and smooth out the cut edge. Do this another time so you end up with two bottle tops with the lids still attached. Next, cut out the bottom from a clear plastic cup. Use hot glue around the edges of one lid and glue the plastic piece onto it. When it's dry, you can cut off the excess plastic from the edges. And then hot glue the rim of the other lid and glue this onto the other side of the plastic. This creates two pockets for you to store anything you like. I use some moisturizing cream on one side for when my skin gets dry and I'm out. And then I melted some Vaseline and lipstick in the other container to make a really cute tinted lip balm. And then let it cool and set in the container. I love this because it looks super cute, also very small and portable and perfect for travel. You can put anything you like into these, not just what I use, such as mints or even jewelry. glass ketchup bottles that are just impossible to pour evenly, you can make your own nozzle with a plastic bottle. Just take a lid and a candle and hold the lid over the candle until it gets hot. Make sure you don't burn yourself whilst doing this. It's always best to get an adult to supervise if you're unsure. When it's hot, take a skewer and push up from below to form a nozzle. When it's cooled down, take a pair of scissors and cut off the top so there's a small hole. your bottle with any kind of sauce and use the nozzle to easily dispense it. Hey Woody, happy birthday! I got you a present! Oh wow! Thank you! It's so pretty! Yeah, I made it myself! Oh really? How did you make 
this ring? No, not, not the ring, the box. Oh. It's still pretty. Thank you. And uh, you could make a box out of a plastic bottle. So I found this hack amazing. Take any straight bottle with thin plastic and cut off the top and bottom of the bottle so you're left with a cylinder. Then roughly cut the cylinder in half. Take one of the halves, squash it flat and use something heavy along the edges to keep its shape. Then match your crease edges right in the middle and squash it flat the other way. This next bit is a little bit tricky. You need to measure the length of one of the sides of the box. For me, it was four and a half centimeters. Next, you need to measure a four and a half centimeter section and then cut that out and you're left with a square shape. Repeat this step with the other half of the bottle and you'll have two squares which you can actually slot into each other forming a box. This makes a great way to give your friends and family small gifts and it looks super cute. Storage containers are so useful if you like DIYs and crafts but don't have a place to store your things. Take a large empty juice bottle and start tracing a line like mine. It's hard to explain but just imagine you want to remove the front top quarter of the bottle. Cut along your lines and you'll be able to remove that part of the bottle pretty easily. Next, you can decorate your bottle with washi tape or anything you like, but I decided to use spray paint to spray mine gold. <music> Lastly, I cut a small section from the middle of the handle to convert it into a hook for hanging and you're ready to store whatever you like. I can't even tell there used to be a bottle. Bright lights, they like to change. They're keeping me up again. You take me over. with plastic bottles, yes, this really blew my mind. It's actually really easy as well. Just cut out these small little round legs of the base of the bottle and then trim them until they're roughly the size of the gemstone you want to make. I use really small ones so they're a little bit more convincing and then I use some blue tack to hold them in place whilst I use nail polish to coat the inside of these small pieces. You probably want to do two coats of nail polish. I found that metallic or glitter nail polish worked really well and they look so cute but feel free to experiment with any color you like. I love to see your creations because honestly you guys are so talented it probably look way better than mine. When it's dry just hot glue them onto some simple metal bands and you're done. Mmm, thirsty. bottle and trace an outline down each side of the bottle but stop just before you reach the bottom and then join the lines together around the front. Cut along this line and you'll end up cutting out the front section of the bottle leaving only the back and the base intact. All the faces in this ocean 
Next, cut out a gap near the top end of the bottle for your tap to fit through, and you're done! Just hook it over your drink tap and the bottle will catch any accidental spillage and these are perfect for parties because guests always spill water. Trust me, I'm usually a guest. <laughs> So did you guys learn anything new today? Are you guys gonna try any of these out? Or do you just like watch DIYs for the sake of watching them? Guys, do hashtag WinjiCon so we can chill out during the week and I love seeing what you guys make and get up to as well. And follow me on social media if you guys haven't already because I will be there as well as on my vlog channel every day. But for this channel, it's gonna be a week till we see each other so I'm gonna miss you guys so much. And until then, I'll see you soon. Bye! Love you! Love you!